I mean, take for example, you know, what, what happened this week. Um, I think a lot of people don't know who, I mean, with, with, with holding police officers accountable, I, I don't think a lot of people know what offices have the power to do that. Um, you know, in 2014 in Los Angeles, I live in Los Angeles County, and in 2014, the turnout for the district attorney race wasn't high. Uh, turnout for a lot of the local elections are not high, but that is, that is the person who has the, the, the power to prosecute uh, police officers. Um, same thing with, you know, the district attorney election in Kenosha uh, County. Uh, same thing for state attorneys general races. And, and there are a lot of factors, but just starting by knowing who the people are that affect the things you care about, whether you care about climate change, whether you care about criminal justice reform, whether you care about um, free, free and fair elections, um, it's, it's connecting the dots between the thing you care about and the person who has the power to affect that, because it's not just the president, it's not just uh, the executive branch, it's not just the federal government. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's state and local offices, and we do, by not teaching civics, but also just not making people aware of it through our media, because it's for, it's for profit driven, it's how do we get people to pay attention, not how do we get people informed. Um, people don't know the powers of these offices, they don't connect the dots between like their state attorney general, and you know, whether or not companies pollute their, their water or are held accountable for doing that. So um, to me, any way that you can do that, connect the issue someone cares about to the office or offices that affect them, um, that is helping people understand what they're voting for. Yeah, and we'll probably find that the federal government, the presidents are sometimes the least uh, impactful in our daily lives. Yeah, so. I mean, about 75 to 80 percent of the decisions that government officials make that affect your life are local and state government. Yeah, so we got to vote in the midterms and in our local elections. <laughs>